Mm-hmm. Digression. Alright. This place sure is lively. Let's buy that, Iori. It's way too big. Another time saver. Shit out of the children. Traumatize them for life. That's the way of the Night Lords. I mean, to be fair, we are living... Technically, we're living through peaceful times, but people are still getting cut down in the streets by Ronin. So, I mean... I mean, if the story about Monster isn't going to traumatize them, that will. Oh, okay, so the main quest is to do this side quest, I guess. I said I was going to do a short stream, but I've almost streamed for like three hours again. Probably thinks that I've had like a shit ton of water next to me. Torikoe Shrine. <laughs> it's a monster! Somebody help! It seems the children are still unharmed. But monsters have appeared. Hurry. No, stay back. They're close, but where? Now these things definitely look familiar. I wonder where I have seen them from. Are we gonna die? Hey, hey don't give up, Mio. If they attack, I'll... Your bravery is admirable, but I'll take it from here. Get back. Okay, thank you, mister. Revenant. These things also look much smaller than what I'm used to dealing with. Oh, fuck. I was put it, uh. If that water hits you, I know, right? Good to know, it's just immune to getting attacked by that. That's kind of stupid, but okay, I guess. Usually that would interrupt a big attack like that. Let's get rid of these small fries. of love bosses with super armor. Yeah, unfortunately, that's quite a few of them. It's part of the gameplay mechanic. It's worse when they're actual bosses. This is still technically a mini boss. Like I said, that's why I described it. This is like a what if a Souls-like game and a, and a Musu game had a baby. Because I don't want to call it a Souls-like because it isn't, but it has very similar you need to actually take your time and attack weak points and stuff kind of combat as opposed to a Dynasty Warriors game where you can just swing crazy and kill everything.
There we go. First you crack the shell, then you crack the nut inside. There, there. Are you okay? Y yes, thank you very much. Come on, Ikichi, say thank you. Sorry. Hey. You must be Mio and Ikichi. Mio, did you get something from Ikichi? You mean this? It's the same thing, all right. Ikichi, where did you get this? The boss's shop. It was out front, and it looked so pretty. The boss? Oh. The rogue ruler. It came from his store, didn't it? What? You have to give it back, Ikiji. You'll go to jail if you steal. Or worse, they'll just cut off your hands. Y yeah, you're right. I have to go apologize. I think you'd better. Think hard on what you did and never do it again. In the meantime, I'll return this to the shopkeeper. We're acquainted. Yeah, that's a... Word for what we are? Acquainted. Okay, thanks, mister. I'm sorry. Glittering fragment. To think Rogue Ruler would get robbed by a child. We should go give him a good warning. Fly. Skeleton warriors, ban and dan 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 Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Increased power to heavy attacks. It's only slightly weaker. But I'll take it, because that extra boost can be good. Ooh. Blind grants automatically evade incoming attacks? Oh, I'll take that. That sounds really good. Uh, HP restore with each enemy defeated. That's okay, but it's not really going to help against bosses. Something like that probably has a hard limit or has a cooldown to it. Probably. It's also, I think, just a percentage chance to activate. The stronger the uh, the addition on it, like the plus whatever to it, the more chance it has of activating. Oh, I just found a skill jewel. Nice. That's a shrine. Oh, no, but it's part of the pilgrimage. Okay. All right. I could stay here and do all the other stuff, but I'll just come back later.
Well, that was faster than I expected. I thought you would require more time. Fine effort, Saber and Master. You, you knew they were stolen. Then why did you leave it be? Nonsense. Why should I lift a hand to meddle in affairs that will resolve themselves? I'm far too busy for that. It's as if he knew exactly what we were going to do. Listen well. A king bides his time and the same goes for a shopkeeper. Though I suppose this may be inscrutable to those who have ruled neither shop nor nation. That reminds me. I have yet to hear your name, impoverished master. I am Iori. Miyamoto Iori. Then rejoice, Miyamoto Iori, as a reward for this occasion. I will stow upon you the honor of being my royal retainer. I'm um, sorry, what? Ecstatic, yes. Grateful, yes. Then let those tears of joy flow freely. <laughs> You know there's a place in Japan where they claim Jesus is buried there? <laughs> Wait, what? Why? <laughs> there's gotta be a story to that. <laughs> Wait, we don't have the time to. Gather the overflowing treasures of Edo to fill my vaults. This is a mom momentous commission. Fret not, you need not change your plans. Simply fetch me whatever catches your eye. Please me, and you will choose a reward befitting your service. Easy enough. This is completely unreasonable. Let's get out of here, Yori. Let's take let's take on this the assignment. Unlike the servant, you appear to appreciate the nobility of service. I shall await your return. It's true that he's no ordinary man, but... Be that as it may, I can't believe my master would so readily bow to his will. Calm down, Saber. I thought this decision through. That boss is a, ro is a rogue servant based in Asakusa. In other words, he shares our territory. It would be it would only be, a, be to our benefit to have him as an ally. If we must become enemies, I would want to maintain some distance between us. <laughs> I love the puffy face. And considering his bearing and the goods in his shop, he seems pretty wealthy. And what does that matter? We stand to make some good money. Our meals could be a bit more luxurious. As many helpings of rice as you want. Oh, that's what it comes down to just convince Saber. They also claim to have met Jesus' brother? Wow. <laughs> Rice! Right. We'll spend every waking moment we're not busy with the ritual on, his go on this goal. You cannot buy item items at Babylonia. We're really going home this time. <laughs> he out of house and home if I don't take this job. Probably. I mean, he already doesn't have a lot of money to begin with. Alright, so what do I have to do to appease you anyways? Well met, Mongrel. Okay, so he just sells a bunch of crap. Actually, no, I'm going to do this because I want to be able to afford that upgrade. Actually, that's a bad idea because now I don't have items to actually maintain to actually upgrade the thing. I regret my life choices. Although, plenty of fights to get into, so I'll go do those, I guess. 
Oh, phone just turned off. Okay. I didn't hit him fast enough? Okay. Well, that's viced. because this will help me get more levels and shit. Okay, speaking of which, we can stop by here. Hello. Thank you. Actually, how much do I have for... I got a new mounting wood. What the fuck? It says weaker that, but it increases my technique. It also doesn't give me one with water anymore. I'll take it anyways. get anything for that fight. That's kind of a disappointment. I think I'm getting better at the timing, but still not great.
All right, I think after this, we'll probably save the game though. Probably end the stream. Actually, hang on. I just noticed she still has that fox mask on. Uh, let's see, can I get anything? Increased defense. That'd be nice to have. When water stands blow enemies away, uh, that blow away enemies will affect even more enemies. Ooh, nice. for this? Oh. I guess it's something I will acquire later. There we go. Oh, wait. Uh, workshop renovation. There we go, Master of Arms. Materials can now be used to enhance or randomly replace the effects of mountings. Yay. And I guess I'll take this. Silver tongue? Oh, prices that goods are sold for. That would be nice. Affinity gauge would actually, would be pretty good too. Oh wait, now I can actually yeah empower mounting. Ooh, that one's really good. When did I get that one? Hold up. Okay, so that's how that works. Interesting, interesting. All right. Oh, I'll take a rest. Actually, depending on if there's a long thing or not after this, I might do that too. I'm going to get some rest. Sayra, you should take a break too. Wait, I sense something. We have to get out there, Yori. It's the enemy. Have we been detected? Those shinobi must be Yui's minion, minions. He didn't even send a servant. They're probably here to keep watch over us. How ridiculous. We should detain them and have them cough up Yui's plans. Okay, bring it. I got that off. I forgot that I just got a blade that gives me plus attack to humans. So I'm doing really good right now. Oh, also I had that attack up too for dodging. So that helped too. We failed at this rate we... Capture them. Capture them. W what? Are these the ones from Uino? How fortuitous. Everyone retreat. 
Did they get away? The Shogun soldiers came to save Yui's underlings just when we had them. I couldn't be more frustrated. Supposing Shoisetsu is working with a faction of the Shogunite. It leaves too many unanswered questions like why these vassals act so strangely. Capture them. Shut up! We have to do something about them, Iori. Ninjas possess samurai, Faustent brawls. Property values must be shit around. Ah, oh, dude, you have no idea. Should have seen the beginning when fucking, uh, uh, when Saber basically wasted an entire house district. Something seems strange about them, don't you think? Just like in Uino, they kept repeating the same hollow chants. But they still have enough sense to carry their fallen allies and flee. It might be some kind of spell. There are supposedly abilities that can control people. Could Shosetsu be... Using them? I'm thinking the same thing. The ones that came to save Yui's underlings must be the Shogun soldiers. That should be proof enough of their ties, don't you think? Panicked because we found his base, Shoisetsu used the Shogunite's power against us. It would, be, it would certainly make sense, but... I don't know how you do things in this era, but a surprise attack is best launched early. Especially if you see your opponent is in a rush. Am I wrong? No, you're right. I wish we had better proof that this wasn't a ruse or what we haven't misread the situation. Sounds like some Drakengar shit. <laughs> Well, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah, let's head for Kanda. I want to both confirm our suspicions and check the lay of the land. Well now, here I thought you would be more reluctant about the idea. Then let's go when you're ready. A short while later. All right, are you ready? Then let's make haste for Kanda. Oh no. That voice. Oh, Lord Iori, it's so lovely to see you again. Hi, Arya. How did you get here? <laughs> Jailbait is here. I mean, is she jailbait? Or is she, uh, bestiality? You make the call! Or is she jailbait bestiality? You make the call! Oh, Arya. I'm surprised a rogue heroic spirit would come see me. Did something happen? A terrible fiend has driven me from Uno. I beg your aid, I beg your aid, Lord Iori. A fiend? Sorry, Ryder, but we have urgent business to attend to. Will you not hear my plea? No, it's not that. <laughs> She's playing you like a damn fiddle! Mm. 
Fine, I'll help you. Oh, I'm so glad, Lord Iori. You're every inch as Galleon as I had imagined. Oh, she's so pushy. Let's get this over with quick, Iori. T Demands of a distressed damsel. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.